Today's video is brought from the request section of the Discord server. Yes, we have a Discord server and the link is in the video description below. It would be great to see you there. Help us grow that to 1,000 members and help us grow this channel more by subscribing. Thank you. Thank you very much. So today's video is Bank Heist on the Atari and I have one top tip for all you great people. If you want to rob banks, if you want to go on any hobbies involved, maybe writing or anything like that at the weekend that sometimes the British people do, then you need one of these. Yes, this is a British all weekend, all Terran mask so you can catch up with your hobbies and do things that you enjoy. Anyway, let's go in with the game as we play Bank Heist on the Atari 2600. So it really is good, it really is good to have a request, to have a request on the Discord server. And let me show you this particular request. So this was from Jabba the Hutt. I'll start the ball rolling, bank heist on the Atari 2600, just up your street. Now, I've not played this before, but I did for once, I did for once actually read the instructions of the game. And you play this little car, you play this little car that you can see, the orange car there, and you've got to rob these banks. And it appears that every bank that you rob, you will have more of those naughty, naughty policemen. That they're going to come after you so you know we both just got to avoid the policemen that are going to appear and then we move to the next city and we try and get the highest score that we can possibly do so atari 2600 recreated on the mr fpj we're pressing start to go and the banks move so it looks like the banks are in random locations but oh my god ha hear the siren hear the siren oh my oh god they, they appear out of nowhere oh dear god oh this is going to be painful this is going to be painful um, alright, okay, we're going to leave the city now, I think, by going to the right. But yeah, look at this, you rob the banks, you don't get very much money, do you? You know, the, 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 this is not worth going to jail for. This is not worth going to jail for. Oh dear God, where did you appear from? Well, just above me. Alright, okay, maybe some strategies needed here. Oh, somehow we survived that, down we go. Alright, okay, $20 in that bank, grab that. And, oh, that's not the right way. I don't know where the city exit is, maybe it's different, oh, there we go. Alright, so it looks like the maps are not exactly linking together as you would expect. So both passages to the right don't seem to lead to another city. That takes me back there, but the top one takes me into a new city. Alright, okay, this is probably doable. We might get it, get a high score on this. Uh, a reasonably good score at least. Oh, we're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck. Right, we're going to try that one, no. But it's just always the top one that leads you to a new city. Gas seems to be slowly going down. Oh, and we died, and we died, and we died. All right, so the gas slowly goes down, so we've got to be aware of that. All right, okay. So let's go this way. All right, Jabba the Hutt, sir. This isn't a bad little game. I can see myself enjoying this, actually. Oh. Aha, we used a shitty sort of city shortcut. Oh, look at that! You can go back on yourself. You, you can cheese it. Aha! <laughs> Alright, okay, um. Let's go back that way. Alright, let's. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Right, let's grab that 10 there. Let's go there. Oh, that's how you get high scores. You go in and out of the city. Yes, I found a way to cheat on this game. So you can get high scores very easy by not creating the police by leaving and uh, going back. Right, so we go up that way, we go that way, we go that way, we go that way, and the banks are back again. What kind of strange world is this? You know, this is like Google Maps gone wrong. All right, we're not going to cheese it though. We are going to play properly. We're gonna, we we have to play properly, even though for once on the Gentleman's Pixel Club we have found a way that we can dick with games to get a good high score. It somehow feels wrong. All right, no, oh, oh let's grab that. Oh, one must have appeared. Oh no, we ran out of gas, so we died. All right, how do we get more gas? That's a genuine question. How do we get more gas? And I know the answer is going to be the gas station, but I generally don't know. Oh, look at that! That's a nasty place to put a bank. All right, okay, through here, through here. All right, get you, get you. God, oh, they're everywhere. The police are everywhere. Alright, okay. Oh, oh, and we died. Alright, so $700. We have got $700 so far. This is quite a fun little game. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. This is right up my street, no pun intended, as we drive the streets on, 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 on this little adventure. We seem to be moving a bit slower. Do we move slower? The more lives we've got. No, it's got to be a phenomenon. It's got to be me. 
not understanding what I'm looking at, but honestly, it feels like we're moving a bit slower here. All right, we're gonna play this. We're gonna try not to cheese it. So we're gonna, we are only gonna basically stay in our cities till we've cleared it to see what kind of score we can get. All right, okay. You know, we're 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 doing a lot of bank robberies at the moment. We're doing a lot of bank robberies at the moment, and this is a good. So this bank that we're oh mother balls. So that bank that we were aiming for was at the exit point as a bloody police car decided that they were going to change their tactics and appear at the exit point. All right, okay. So let's grab that. Let's grab this one. Let's do this one. And look, there you go. Bobby's literally your uncle. Oh, oh I didn't cheese it. I didn't cheese it. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, okay. So 700 I think we scored before. Oh no, bugger, bugger, bugger. If only the police um, came from uh, the, the edge of the screen, it would be so much easier. The randomness on where they appear is a little bit tough. All right, okay, up we go, up we go, up we go. Yes, we did that. Look at that style and that skill. Okay, this one might be a bit difficult. Fortunately, they're on top of each other. Oh, and they, they split. You might not have noticed that, but they both split and changed direction just a little bit at the end of that last wave. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you move faster as this game progresses. Yeah, we're, de we're definitely moving faster. Maybe that's the lower the fuel is getting. Right, 10 points there. Come on, come on, come on. Can we do it? Yes, we can. I don't know if these mazes are random. I haven't paid too much attention to the layout of them. But there again is where we died, where we had a bank on the exit um, just as we exited that level. But mm, no, we want to keep an eye on this. This one's a little bit... Oh, it's got a horrible dead end there. Good Lord, don't go to that bank. Oh, we blew up, so we ran out of fuel. All right, okay, where are we going to be? We're going to be there. All right, so at the absolute minimum, we've got to get 800 points, I think, to have a decent score to have beaten what we've done before. Yet yeah, again, another game that's passed me by recently this week. We played that Commodore 64 game that I so wish I'd seen, you know, in the past. And this, this is a cracking little game. You know, it's simple by nature. It's simple by what it does. But, you know, literally, it is what it says on the tin. It's an old TV arcade game. It reminds you of an old TV arcade game. You know, the kind of game that you would have been happy with um, to be playing. Because you know what? It's it's simple. It's far oh, I died. It's fun. And you can make quite a good progression. All right, okay. Busy, busy, busy. The siren sounds quite good as well. You know, they, they've certainly nailed that. You know, people in Britain would have heard that a fair bit recently if they've been naughty, naughty people. Okay, let's do this. Oh, somehow we got through that. Oh, 10,000 points as well. Oh, and we died, and we died, and we died. 10,050 points. That's not bad, that's not bad. I'm quite pleased with that. But you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to have one more game. One more game of this to see how far I can get. You know, see whether I can beat it again. Yeah, you're definitely slower to start off with. Fire does nothing. Oh, it does do something. Oh, I must have pushed the wrong fire button. Yeah, oh, you got some kind of bomb. Balls to that. All right, okay, so, fire does nothing. This joypad that I'm using has multiple buttons. It's got four buttons, and it's absolutely clear. I was pushing the wrong bloody Oh my god, oh my god, how stupid can I get? Yeah, oh, I was pushing the wrong button the last game. And I thought, yeah, no, it does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. Balls, balls, balls. All right, so you can always learn, you can always learn. This is why instructions, you know, really should be read on games. And I did have a quick look at what you're supposed to do, but it's absolutely clear. I did not look at the instructions well enough. You know, some of you might have been screaming at the comments, you know, at the video saying, you know, you need to push the bloody fire button, push the fire button. 
you know, perhaps in a Michael Caine voice as well, that I'm not going to try and do. Um, but, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you live and learn. You live and learn as I'm learning at the moment. All right. Okay, it uses a, oh, it uses a chunk of your gas, though. Let's see how much it uses. Oh, does it? No. My gas must have just gone down at that particular point as well. All right, through there, through there. Right, okay. It's a bomb. We've blown up one police car by pushing that um, on an IED. Although I don't think the concept of IEDs existed. Um... In, in this game, in this era, in this world here. You know, that's, that's a rather new... Oh, I, oh, mother hell! Did I blow myself up? Let's try that again. Maybe I didn't. Oh, who knows what's going on? I was dicking about there. All right, okay, let's just focus on banks, police cars, and not blowing ourselves up. Okay, grab that, grab that. 1,000 points I think we're going for. Oh, there's that tricky one at the end. We died there before when it was at the exit point. All right, so I do like the use of sound. It's absolute minimal sound, but you know what? It's nice, it really is. Even with the bombs going off, the, 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 the IED, the little bombs that we're dropping there. Oh, oh, <laughs> it looks like that. Holy hell, I died out of fuel. All right. So, 7,900. All right. So, the banks. Do the banks have a bit of fuel? I don't know. I really, really don't know. Oh, and we went and we died. So... 9,700. Fox Games 3, I think, produced that. Oh, it says Fox Games 3. I don't really know what that means. I absolutely don't know what that means. So, hope you've had fun with this video. This has been a great little game to be a player so we're a bank robber. You know, we're in disguise because we don't want to get caught being bank robbers. But no, thank you. Seriously, thank you for that suggestion. Good, good, good choice of game. I actually do recommend this game as well. If you've not played it before, it's good, open, honest, no pun intended, fun. All of you stay safe, all of you take care, and I will see you in the next video at the Gentleman's Pixel Club. Goodbye.